Example 5, given that the forces of decrement are constant over the year of age with this information. So we have constant force of decrement which is mu x plus t is equal to mu x and we are given qx cos 1 equal to qx cos 2 which is equal to 12 over 49. So we have to find qx1 prime. So qx tau is equal to the total of qx1 plus qx2. So it is equal to 24 over 49. So we can find qx1 prime using this formula. So we substitute the values that we have. So this is qx tau. We get before. And qx1 is given. And we get it is equal to 0 0.2857. So example 6, given Qx prime 2 equal to 1 over 9 and center it tau equal to 3 over 4. So assuming there are two causes of decrement UDD in the single decrement table, find Px1 prime. So this is UDD SD. So this is the general form for center rate and since it is UDDSD, so it's equal to this one where T is equal to 1 over 2. Therefore, we can find Px tau is the product rule of Px j, which is we have two causes here, Px1 times Px2. So Qx tau over 1 minus 1 over 2 Qx tau is equal to 3 over 4. So we solve this equation to find the Qx tau. So we got Qx tau is equal to 6 over 11. Therefore, we can find Px tau and we substitute in the equation for Px tau and we got Px1 prime is equal to 45 over 88. So now we go to example 7. So this time we use UDD in the single decrement table. So UDD SD as well. So we extract all the information given. And we can use this formula to solve this one. And we substitute all the values and we get 0 0.111. Now we go to the exercise. So we take the important information given, the three-year term insurance, X is equal to 25. There are two causes of decrement, where one is for death and two is for lapse. And this is the absolute rates of decrement table. So we have prime here, QX prime, since it is absolute rates. So obtain a multiple decrement table corresponding to the absolute rates where we have to use SDT, transfer it to MDT. Assuming uniform distribution of decrement, so we have to use UDD, SD. So first, we construct the table. First, we find the value for the multiple decrement for Q25-1 using the SDT 
So we got 0 0.0185. And second one, due to cost 2, we got 0 0.1485. And we find all the values to complete the table. So now we complete the table by finding one by one values. And QX tau is actually QX1 plus QX2. And TPX tau is equal to two TPX1 prime times TPX2 primes. After we complete the table, so now we can find the probability for A. Probability of death claim will be made in the second policy year. So death for cost 1. And second one is the probability that the policy will lapse. So the cost 2 either in the second or the third year policy. So the first one in the second policy and for B second or third policy. First, we solve for A. So the death happened in the second year, meaning that the first year, that, that individual still alive. So from age 25 to 26, still survive. And from 26 to 27, so we use conditional probability. From 25 to 26, still survive. And from 26 to 27, the death happened. So this is how we write down the probability P25 tau times Q26 1. Because here is Q26 to 27 and here is from P25 to 26. Since it is cost 1, so we use 1 here. Then we substitute the values from the table and we got 0 0.019. And for the second scenario where the lapse happen either in the second year or in the third year. So if the lapse happen in the first year, sorry, the lapse happen in the second year, so meaning that survive from 25 to 26 and the lapse happen in 26 to 27. So we got this one. Or if the lapse happen in the third year, so all we use plus. So still the first two years survive and then the lapse happen in the third year. So this is how we compute for this probability. And we substitute all the values and we get 0 0.13986.